Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Cuban Bear, and today we're going to be doing a brand new series that I'm coming up with called The Road to World Record Average. So as you guys know, I'm not the best at cubing, and I would say I'm a pretty inner, I would say I'm beginner average level because I'm not the best at what I do. My average is usually 20 seconds. I'm lucky if I can get sub 20, but I'm working on it. This series is kind of to record um, my improvements over over past months, over years, and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. Um, so this series will be consistent of a monthly Q&A, and it will also be consistent of me breaking down things that I, I'm going to improve on for the next coming month and seeing if I held up to the expectations I did in the previous month. So it's kind of like a check-in with you guys telling you how I've improved and see how my average has changed in the last month. So this is a monthly series and it will be going out every month. Something that I think is really cool about the series is that there's going to be 12 episodes every year. And since we're in June, that means there's only going to be six episodes this year, six or seven. So season one will be starting off with six episodes, then season two, and then we'll just keep going on. This series will probably stay in my channel for the rest of my channel's life um, because it will take me a while to be able to get to world record average. So the title suggests that obviously I am going to keep working hard, I'm going to keep doing everything I can until I get to the world record average. Now that is really a difficult thing to do. I know a lot of uh, cubers who are at that range but they just can't do it they have to practice a lot a lot more and it's just the more you try to go down the more harder and the more difficult it is to achieve that goal so it just basically comes to a point where you're so fast that you really can't really change after that but this is basically what my series is about I like to go ahead and open it up to you guys what do you guys think of this series um, would you guys um, like to see anything else in this daily update video? Would you guys like to see any tutorials, methods I use of any sorts? I can put down links of some different websites and different sources I use to get to that level at that specific month. I'll always be putting down information in the description below. This is what I have to say for you guys. Um, it's my new series, uh, The World's World Record Average. So I'm going to go ahead and start the episode now. Hey guys, what's up? So today we're basically taking a look at the first month of my cubing career, of my cubing road to world record average. And right now I am using the YJMGC. Obviously it has become my new main and my side main or my extra main is going to be my Gantz Air UM followed by my backup backup main, the Yushin Little Magic, non-magnetic version. So with the YJMGC, I was able to set it up to the settings that I really liked. Not too fast, not too slow, just right for me. And here are a couple of solves that I'm doing. As you can see, some of them I'm doing pretty good. I'm averaging at 22 seconds at about eh, some 19, some 18s. And it's actually staying at the 20 range, which is pretty cool. So it kind of tells me that I know that I need to improve on right now is my... Um, Something that I realized that I need to improve on is my F2O and my OLO and PLO. Um, I would say OLO in terms of I do not know full OLO, so I need to learn full OLO. PLO, I would say, is learning recognition better and learning all G perms. I haven't learned the G perms yet because I really don't want to learn them because they just look so much of a hassle. But I know I have to do it because I have to learn them. Uh, something. My AUF is also something that I would have to improve upon because it, it has not been the best. Sometimes I finish PLL and then I'm, I'm sitting there for one second going, oh, okay, I have to do a U2 or a U3. My U's and my U3s are also something that I need to handle. Um, I need to know if I need to do a U or a U2. I can't be doing U3s anymore. You can see in some of these solves that I'm actually doing that and that's something that I, it's a habit now and I really got to fix that. So if I had to break down um, some of the main things that I would have to work on this month is learn, I want to learn full OLL and PLL by the end of next month and then after that I'm guessing the next plan would be learning how to do my cross better because you can see that my cross is usually taking around 3 to 5 seconds which is not really what you want. You want it to have it lower than 3 seconds for 
being sub 20. My goal for this month is to be averaging, since I average at around 21 seconds, I want to average 19 seconds. It's pretty small, but I it think it's better than not having a goal. So my goal for the end of next month, the end of July, is to have a, a, nine, a sub 19 average, which would be pretty awesome. If it's at 19, that's even better. I just don't want it to be in the 20 range anymore. I want to go lower. And by learning full PLL and learning full OLL completely, that will really help me out for this. Uh, something that I noticed is my recognition on the way AGMG MGC. I still have to get used to it a little bit better since um, while using it, since using it, I haven't really experienced a lot of recognition errors, but there are some that do come out and that's between the blue and red because the blue is so dark and the red is so dark as well. Sometimes in the light, it kind of looks like there's orange and blue instead of blue and red. So just getting the gist of how the colors um, match and correspond to one another and learning what's the best for me is also something that will be really good to improve my times. Uh, I've been doing some analyzing in this video as I'm editing right now and I can see that there are some times that I am taking pauses to look at things. So I'm thinking less fast turning and more consistent turning styles. Now what I mean by that is I would slow down my TPS a little bit so that I can have a constant speed rather than just turning really fast and then spending a second and then turning really fast and then spending another second trying to figure out what to do next. It's better if I take it a little bit slower so I can see what's my next thing and I don't have to take on any time at all to take a look at that and um, to take a look at that and to in order for me to take a look at that and to just execute the algorithm correctly. So yeah, my training regimen for this month is probably gonna be um, probably only Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday will be the days that I will be practicing the most. Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are kind of gonna be my off days. As I get more and more improved, as I improve more and more in my cubing aspect, I will be doing a lot more practice sessions but uh, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Keep notifications on. Uh, share this with people. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy this series. Go ahead and leave down any questions. I didn't have that many questions for a Q&A. That's why I did not add it in this episode. Uh, go ahead and leave those questions down below. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Peace out.